In the last video, I told you about uh, how you can automate your Facebook leads to MailChimp. Now, the next thing is how you can basically further automate from MailChimp to Google Sheet. So there are two ways you can do it. One is that in the existing scenario, like you have uh, from Facebook leads to MailChimp, you can add third module. That's one way of doing it, that uh, from Facebook, they will go to MailChimp and then from MailChimp, they'll go to Google Sheet. Yeah. And uh, another way is that you can create a separate uh, scenario that all those leads which are going to MailChimp will go to Google Sheets, right? Now, why I would choose this one? For example, if you have 10 uh, ads running, 10 different kind of ads running and you have 10 different forms people are submitting lead to, then for uh, all those 10 scenarios, you will need to add this additional step, like third step of Google Sheet, right? Whereas you, if you create a separate one, then what will happen? See, in the first case, what will happen? Only those leads which are uh, going uh, from that particular Facebook form will get onto Google Sheet. But if you create a different scenario, all the leads which are coming into MailChimp from any of the form from anywhere will come to Google Sheet. So this is much better and uh, much time saving option, right? So how you can do that is one way is that you can clone. Definitely this is running. You can just clone it. Otherwise you can create a new scenario like we did in the case of Facebook leads to MailChimp. So now this time what we do is from MailChimp to Google Sheet. So this is MailChimp. We select this, continue. We click on MailChimp and then watch subscriber. So in this what happens? And then get subscriber. So whatever we can choose, we can choose get subscriber. That's better. So get subscriber. And then we need to add the connection It is already there. We have the list and then we can just simply enter the date added. Like from when do we want this uh, process to work? For example, we can do it. You just need to leave this option. We can simply since date added. Okay. Or before date added. So. So let's let's do a simple one. This is a little more complicated. Let's do a simple one. Here we go. And then we do it again. We just leave it. Create a new scenario. MailChimp. Because there is a simpler way of doing it. Continue. MailChimp watch subscriber and then watch only new so now it will only watch the new subscribers right status only subscribed email type you can leave it html and maximum number of return subscribers so you can keep it always as let's say two is fine so it will basically pick up the data in the batch of two subscribers, right? And then we just click OK. And then here you can select all subscriber or after a specific date, or you can select the first subscriber that after all, uh, let's say after this particular person, whoever has joined the list. So let's keep it from now on and then we leave it OK. And then we go add another module. Here we search for Google Sheet, Google sheet google sheet and then add a row this is the option what it will do it will add basically a row at the bottom of uh, the table every time there is a new subscriber and then again in this also we need to just add the connection so my google connection currently i'm using my email id yeah and then we select the spreadsheet and sheet and here we select the spreadsheet. There are a lot of sheets which are there. Let's see. I'm going to select this one, which is already there. 
we can select any but i have the one total leads and in then in total leads we select the sheet sheet one and in that we select the next thing that whether do we have the header or not so yes we do have the header i'll just open the sheet as well for your reference total leads Neha Bhatia. so this is the header so it will not change the header number one and this is sheet one that's what it was showing here sheet one and then it has header date and time here we can select the date it was created on the name so here we select uh, the name and then mobile number so we must be having the data okay here it is so we just cross off the name we select first name last name uh oh yeah first name mobile number and oh well, let's check the name name is here and then the email id or the email address not the id the address and we just leave everything else click on ok it's ready you cannot run it now you need to just first go and run once stop it and then this will work scheduling and at regular intervals 15 minutes so every 15 minutes or you can set it at 5 minutes it must be higher than or equal to 5 every 5 minutes it will check and then you just activate now it's running every 5 minutes it will check and if there is a new bleed it will just show up so this is how you do yeah all right